All right, so check this one out. Um, this next one is coming out of Chicago where a rideshare driver, John Williams, he picked up a young lady in his vehicle in the West Garfield Park neighborhood. And um, it's, I don't know, man, some people just play too damn much. Um, and it, there is some explicit language in this one, which I think is understandable uh, because of that, the, the situation or the position that he was put in. So, yeah, let's check this one out. Yeah, so yeah, you know, I think this. I mean, that that was just that was just reckless on her part. I mean, I, I you know, there there's nobody that 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 I don't think anybody with a lick of sense or a conscience would would allow somebody, you know, a total stranger to get kind of caught up in a situation like that to where they don't know anything of, about what's going on, and. Um, to me, it, it would just seem like she she was only concerned about herself and getting away that she completely disregarded this man's safety and well-being. I mean, yeah, she could have lost her life, but this man could have lost his life as well by getting caught up in something that he doesn't know anything about. And then she's sitting back there in the back seat laughing like it's some kind of game. And that's why I said some people just play too much. Um, but my thing is... What happened before Mr. Williams showed up? Like, what was she doing? Like, why and why was she in such a hurry to get away to where she slid down in the seat because she knew what this other dude was going to do? Um, just crazy. And, I mean, it's it's a shame that you can't even take on a gig like this just to make some extra money without being pulled into somebody else's BS. I mean, it, it, it's crazy. But from what I was reading, uh, Mr. Williams, he shared his story with a media, media outlet called Storyful, um, where he was saying that the woman eventually called the police and they both waited nearby. Uh, but then there were more gunshots that rang out, which probably didn't have anything to do with the initial situation, I'm thinking. Uh, but Mr. Williams shared that he was feeling uneasy about things and he feared for their safety. So he told the woman that he couldn't continue to wait for the police. And he ended up taking her to her destination and then he continued on with his shift. And as of right now, Chicago police, they don't have a report for that shooting. So I think, it, you know, I think it's crazy because you're not expecting something like that to happen and you can't really predict when and where stuff like this would go down. Um, but he did the right thing by getting the hell out of there in a hurry. Uh, for me though, personally, after things cooled off a bit, I would have told her she would have had to get out of the car and maybe walk or find another way to get to her destination. And I'm saying that because if that guy that was after her and he did something like that and you don't know her. Remember, you don't know her at all and you don't know what she's gotten herself into sitting there waiting on the cops wouldn't be an option because there could still be a possibility that the guy that shot at his car, who knows, he could have jumped in the car of his own and, and chased them down to finish the job. And, and there Mr. Williams is, he's sitting up caught up in the middle of it. You know what I mean? So, you know, you don't know if this was some kind of domestic situation or if she did something, but it's just best not to take that chance. Um, even even taking her to her destination, I think that was a little bit too much, you know, but that's just me. I mean, I would have just told her to get out the car. But, uh, yeah, I mean, thankfully he wasn't hurt because the ultimate goal anytime you leave home is to make it back home uh, the same way you left or better. So stay safe and be careful, y'all. Peace.